All right, coming up next, a featherweight matchup between Max Holloway and Yair Rodriguez. Well, he's the owner of the consensus best knockout of 2018 against Chan Sung Jung. That came with one second to go in the fifth and final round. Yaya Rodriguez back on the proving ground. Tonight. Yaya Rodriguez is a guy that since winning the Ultimate Fighter Latin America has earned five, five performance of the night bonuses in seven fights. Every time that he fights, it's very exciting. He's very skilled. He can do it all. He went out to Chicago after the show lived with Izzy Martinez, learned wrestling, learned to speak English, just developed an overall game of mixed martial arts to put himself in a position where he could one day fight for a UFC championship. And it's fortunate that he was able to work out his differences with the UFC, because one thing I will say without a doubt, he deserves to be in the biggest show in the sport, and Yair Rodriguez very much a factor here in this featherweight division. Well, you want to talk about a fighter who checks all the boxes, DC. Here is the UFC featherweight king, your right-hand man, Max Blesshoff. The Blessed Express uh -huh. is always on my mind. He's one of the best fighters and one of the best guys that we know. The pace and the ability to push and press forward is something that the UFC featherweight division has never really seen. To melt Jose Aldo in the way that he did, to melt Brian Ortega in the way that he did, is truly a compliment to Max Holloway in his preparation, true Hawaiian to his soul, and it shows in the toughness that he exhibited when he stepped into the office. You talk about a guy ably taking the torch from the Hall of Famer, BJ oh. Penn. Max blessed Holloway. Few guys are gonna be able to match the cardio. You mentioned the pace and the pressure. All eyes on Max Holloway yet again here tonight. Our tale of the tape now for this featherweight fight. Rodriguez is 27. Holloway is 28. Rodriguez will have a two-inch reach advantage. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. It's who does he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 13 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, El Patera Rodriguez. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, Max Bless Holloway. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Yes, 
goes in the distance now, DC. You can just tell he's starting to gain some veteran chops now with several years on this UFC roster. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. He blocks the punch. Big leg kick lands. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Missed with that attempt. Nice leg kick land. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Holloway. Right hook to the head block. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Looking to land the leg kick now. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Kicks, kicks, kicks. Slips. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, you can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Spinning back fist is there. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, he might be out. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Max Holloway. Holloway's shot there is blocked. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Oh! You gotta check these low leg kicks. And another big kick for Max Holloway. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he mixed it all up. Oh. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know it is in for a good night. Nice job of hiding that head kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. 90 seconds to go now. Right hand upstairs. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Rodriguez lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, that's a nice strike. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice strike. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Trying to establish that jab once again. And that left hook landed on the button. Nice head kick. Round two straight ahead. Not more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC talking through the huddle. He got in his opponent's face, 
landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Second round, it is Max Holloway and Yair Rodriguez. Big punch land. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way of the referee's concerns. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. 60 total strikes have landed for Max Blessed Hollow. Well, not the most efficient effort, landing with 33% accuracy against Yair Rodriguez. Nice punch lands over the top. He has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Wow! He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Oh! He's got a pressure. He's got to chase that finish down now. Big right hands there by Max Holloway. Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent, not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. I mean, he's cut. Oh! Well, you see why Holloway is such a fan favorite. Beautiful land there with the left hand, and now we'll see what he can do. Wow! Oh! Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of... Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Rodriguez got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. He's attacking guillotine. He might get a finish here. Oh, looks like he's countering here with maybe a bond flu. He's got the side mount. Now, all of a sudden, his opponent's in trouble. May want to bail on that guillotine sooner rather than later. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? 
gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there. Take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, Max Bliss Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. and. They put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.